Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino, inviting you to an adventure involving the Spectrum. A modern-made replica of a well-known and classical computer, which I have zero experience with. It is made by Retro Games, which... If memory serves right, have done a similar thing with the C64. And this feels pretty similar. And today I want to explore it a little bit more. In a previous video, I have shown how the unboxing of this thing is going. And now I would like to see whether I can reach the basic interpreter. Because I must admit, I am most interested in that experience rather than the many games. So M to select English, M, uh, B to select Next, M to select the 50 Hertz aus output, F for the television test, and L to accept. So here I am, I have turned off the extremely annoying bimbiri bimbiri sound. I mean, I can turn it on a little bit so you, you see uh, what it feels like, but you need to focus very well if you want to keep your ratio while handling this. So by default, it starts into something which is called apparently carousel mode. And pressing the right button is just getting me through an incredible amount of games that this thing seems to be coming with. And yeah, here we are again at the beginning. I want, however, to start differently. And I see that space is giving me options. Now, finally, space is just this little button here on the right. I'm so not used to this whole spectrum idea. Display options. I'm actually fine with the display options, but okay. Let's see what there is. Do I want to have sharp pixels or a CRT effect where everything is a little bit worse? <laughs> no, I'm just going to be with the sharp pixels. Thank you very much. Be close. So language, I'm fine with English. Advanced options, M to select. And then we are having here system options, boot mode, and so on and so forth. So this is more what... I might be interested in, finally, really. <laughs> the boot mode, if I say M to select, I can, yeah, get either this carousel mode or something called classic mode, where I hope that that could be really getting me into basic. But what are the system options? M, set the level of the menu music. Ah, uh, you know that that can be annoying, right? <laughs> I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so boot mode is interesting. Switch to classic mode. Seems to be that what boot mode would make permanent. So I don't want to do that just yet because I don't know what it will look like menu-wise. Selecting system information is showing me what build this is. So a bit of a firmware affair. Legal notices will be... Uh, the licenses I'm not that interested in. Shutting down is fun, but it also just works when you press this power button here on the left behind the device for longer. So I'm not going to do that. In other words, I'm just going to switch now to classic mode. Okay, M. Yeah, so what now? Pressing space gives me K. Enter, nothing. Print just, just did this. That is wonderful. I have never programmed a spectrum, so I did not know that it will just give me the print word. But I also don't know how to do backspace in order to um, do something here. Variable not found, okay, whatever. But now I understand that if I say print, yes, very good, that it will show me that command. Print 
One, two, three. Enter. One, two, three. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. So I am in some sort of basic interpreter. That's amazing. Okay, how do I... How do I do anything here? <laughs> You know, there there are books, of course, about the spectrum, and I admit I should have read one before trying anything. But that makes it all the more realistic. How do I write letters? Okay, so once I type a keyword, afterwards it will allow me to print letters. And here seems to be an erase button, but it appears that I need to do something in order to activate this erase button. And because it is in red and there's a symbol shift in red, it might be just it. Yeah, but it's just giving me some sort of quotation marks. Hmm. hmm. Caps shift. Yeah, doing nothing. Might be trying to move even something, but that's not working, of course. Ah, erase must be a basic statement, just like a... A ATN or beep or something like that. That's actually easily tested if we have beep. Now it's just giving me colon. Ah, it is for these little symbols. So this one should give me now an asterisk. Good, good. So that's an asterisk. But that still leaves me at a loss. How exactly am I supposed to maybe with caps shift? This is trying to erase something, but not really working. Pressing enter. It doesn't know what to do. Okay, this entire thing seems to be a bit of a mess. Can I clear the screen or whatever? No, not with that. With that... Um, Enter. Trying to press enter on aha caps shift one. Okay, so print blah 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 caps shift one in annihilates it. Wonderful. Okay, so ten space print. Can I make quotes? Somehow, I see single quotes. I don't see double quotes. Hmm. Um, maybe, maybe it is single. Ah, here they are on the M key. Print. No, that's a dot. Okay, whatever. Print zero point three. Whatever. Run. Okay, nice, then just giving 10 should just erase that line. Yes, it did. Okay, so, so far we have learned that if we say select classic mode, we will end up in the basic interpreter. If we have had enough, if I press this home button, yeah, very well. Apparently I'm back in a menu in which I can select that I want to go back to this carousel mode. So, M select, and yes, indeed, back I am. Good, now. Again, space for options. Going down for the advanced options, M for selecting them. Going down for switch to classic mode, M for selecting that. And again, when I now press break or space, I am in this basic interpreter. It would be a really nice to figure out how one does a backspace on a spectrum. Haha, -ha. after some search, I see that the double quote mark is ironically just at the P character for printing. So if I press it once for printing, and then say blah, 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 blah. Uh, then I can <laughs> give it with symbol shift, also quotes. Uh, this is not going to work. But 
the other thing I figured out is that up here with caps shift, there is the delete key. So I can get rid of all of this and I can then with symbol shift say hello. And then when I press enter, it will show hello. Nice. Okay, that gives me a little bit more of a chance to run a program if, if this is working the way I assume it might be working. So 10, four, ah. see, this is the thing. I'm used to typing my keywords myself. And as this is just immediately planting them there, <laughs> this is how I, I get into errors. For I is equal to, is there an equal sign somewhere here? Yeah, here it is, is equal to one space two. Do I have to say two with any keyword or can I just do it this way? We shall see in a second. 210, enter. Ah, it doesn't know what that is. Okay, then let's delete that. So apparently I must input the keywords as they are written here. And my guess as to why could be that it is just immediately accepting them, not as words, but as some form of control bytes. In other words, if I say four, that this is not the characters F, O, and R, but that this is one little byte thingy. And that if you type it out, then it will not know what to do with it. Okay, but then where is the two? Hmm. See, apparently the two is having its own red symbol. There's also a step right next to it. And there is an, a then for an if, whereby the if itself is white. So the specifiers seem to be a red, whereas the initial keyword seems to be white. Okay, okay. Okay, for i is equal to 1 to 10, enter. Excellent, 20, space, print, I times, uh, where are the times, such hard times I have come upon, they are right here, times I, beginners, standard, all beginners, all Beginners, all symbolic instruction code, or what did basic stand for? So you see me behaving like a real beginner. Okay, and 30. Next, I. And now, a run and enter. Yeah, achievement unlocked first basic program. Now, of course, I don't know yet how to save anything and can I save anything? But that seems to be working. Great. So pressing enter, save. Uh, with a red quotation marks, save F. Let's just give it one letter. Enter. Start tape, then press any key. <laughs> I would love to, hmm? but I don't know how to start a tape. I'm just pressing enter. It says okay, but I doubt that it will work. If I say, how do I actually get out of here? How do I reset this? Okay, I can just maybe as a provisional measure, simply delete my program. And if I then say load F, what will happen? Ah, it has no clue what to do. Yeah, of course not. Why would you? Uh, what should I do now? 
I can delete this. I could try to put it under quotation marks. F, please. But I didn't save it under quotation marks, so I just might go to hell. Huh, that, that's weird. Break, count, repeats, list. No, not let, list. Okay, which of you is list? K is list. Very good. List. Nothing. Okay, so saving and loading might not be possible that way. It might only work if I, I don't know, attach a USB stick or something. That is something to research in the future. But so far, I think that was a good first adventure for getting into basic, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let us be it for today. Thank you very much for having been here today and thank you very much for watching. I hope to greet you here soon again. And if not subscribers yet, you are politely invited to consider joining our friendly club. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time. And from me, goodbye.